Hi. So here I am with my uh, second rant. Um, I'm calling this evolution or de-evolution. MGTOW. Um, men going their own way. And uh, it seems like there's a, an evolution of society. And it's not anything that anybody's really doing on purpose. But uh, the MGTOW or the men going their own way movement is just a consequence of how society is um, evolving or de devolving. Um, relating to this is, of course, the latest um, discussion about uh, the end of men. Uh, the media's recently come up with a bunch of articles and uh, there's discussion of the, about, about the end of men. Um, that's pretty laughable. Those of us in the men's rights movement, as I said before, do their homework. And even if you don't do your homework, you just look around us. And I don't foresee the end of men happening anytime soon. Um, that is, unless, of course... They choose to do it on their own, and they start living lives for themselves, as we see in the MGTOW uh, movement, uh, men going their own way. Um, I think society and feminism is teaching men that they're, 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 they're not important in, fa in the family and as fathers. And uh, I hate to say it, that I, I think we may be teaching men this. They may start losing their parenting skills. Don't know how that's going to work out, but... Um, you can say in a way that feminism is winning. First of all, it's obvious to us in the men's movement that feminism has won. They really have succeeded in all their efforts. Don't really see any any problems that women are having that are, is not being addressed. But what I mean when they say, when I say that they're winning, because mainstream feminists or radical feminists too, see uh, the family and parenthood as sort of re a restriction and uh, they want to break free of these roles. And it's, it's certainly happening. Men are less and less interested in getting married and less and less interested as women in having children. Um, actually, I'm not sure about the women being less in interested in children, but if we keep punishing men for doing what society tells them to do, in other words, I've said this for years, a man gets married, he works hard, and in case there's a breakdown in the family, if there's a divorce, the man gets punished for working. And the more, he, the more work that he did do, he gets punished all the more. If he made a lot of money, he's expected to keep that up and continue <clears throat> his financial obligations, whereas the wife really do, doesn't continue her um, house cleaning chores. He doesn't come... She doesn't come to his house and uh, clean his house, but of course he has to continue paying child support and uh, sometimes alimony. But uh, he is punished for working hard. Um, she's rewarded for staying home and uh, watching after the kids. So she, she's re rewarded in that way. So men slowly are realizing that what's in it for us? Not a lot. My advice is to men and boys, if you're going to get married, make sure it's great. If there's any doubt at all, you don't want the heartache. It, it, you know, at the drop of a hat, you lose your house, you lose your children. It's not easy. <clears throat> okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's move on to uh, the end of men. That's pretty funny. Um, <clears throat> all these articles that we've been reading in the mainstream uh, about the end of men focus on less men going to college and uh, receiving doctorates. So, 
this worries women in that they're not finding mar marriable men. So they 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 they're lost finding a, an equal partner or you know a partner who is going to take care of these women. Um, I guess you could look at it that way. Uh, I, I guess you wouldn't call it the end of men, you'd call it the end of the free ride for a lot of women. I'd call it that. Because I don't see the end of men, because I'm going to start off right off the bat, in case you didn't notice, many things we have in life are built by men and fixed by men. Um, that has been their roles. Women have had their roles, taking care of children. Um, having children, keeping that, uh, raising families. But let's get back to the, the uh, so-called end of men and how, gee, all of a sudden uh, we don't need men? All right, well, let's, let's get started here. Well, who's going to build your houses, your bridges and factories? Who's going to repair your cars, your plumbing and appliances? Who's going to collect your garbage? Who's going to protect women and their homes? Who's going to provide food, clothing, and shelter? Who will also man the coal mines? Don't see any women in coal mines. Who's going to dig the ditches? Who's going to fight the wars? I'm all for equal equality there. Who's going to invent the gadgets? You know, all these things, men historically have invented gadgets because that has been our role to attract women uh, and get the love of women because if a man didn't have a job or didn't invent things get money he's not marriable and who could blame a woman what's he gonna bring to the table so men have brought to the table all this Who's going to pay the child support when you get divorced? Who's going to drill for oil? Who's going to man the oil rigs? You notice man? Where do we get that word? Who's going to landscape your property? When was the last time you had landscapers come in? Well, you see any women? Very rare. Who's going to pump your gas? I've never seen a woman pumping gas. Who's going to fix your roofs? Or is it roofs? Never see women up on a roof. Who's going to fix your electric, electrical problems? Don't recall a elect, uh, female electrician. Who's going to change your oil? Go to Jiffy Lube. See, see how many women or girls are in there. And men don't do these things because they love doing them. It's because we have to do them. What other sex is there to do it? Who's going to buy your diamonds for you? Who's going to fly the jets? This is just a few uh, examples of um, sort of like the in indispensability of men. I wish women w would uh, put on their uh, big girl pants and start taking over from us. We're sick of it. But until then, I don't really see the end of man or men. Until next time, take care.